Welcome again. Manchester United omit Jadon Sancho from squad photo. Jadon Sancho's days at Manchester United already appear to be numbered after he accused Eric Ten Hag of lying. Jadon Sancho has been excluded from the Manchester United squad photo for the current season. United players assembled for a first in-person squad photo since the start of the 2014-15 campaign, but the exiled Sancho was absent from the shoot at their Carrington training complex. The 23-year-old has been training separately from his United teammates for the last five weeks after he accused manager Eric Ten Hag of lying in a Twitter post over his omission from the matchday squad against Arsenal on September 3rd. Ten Hag said Sancho was dropped due to his training form, an issue that the Manchester Evening News revealed had prevented him from figuring more prominently for England at the European Championship before the quarterfinal stage. Sancho was banished from team training by Ten Hag when the United squad returned in mid-September, and he last played for the club against Nottingham Forest on August 26. Ten Hag has refused to refer to Sancho by name at any of his press conferences and started to give questions on the winger short shrift. Sancho is using the academy facilities at United's Carrington and has to get changed on his own and with the door locked due to safeguarding issues at a facility that includes under 18s. Some of Sancho's closest teammates in the United squad have urged him to apologize to Ten Hag, but even a belated apology is unlikely to salvage his United career as senior sources, believe it would not be truly contrite. United were prepared to let Sancho leave in the final days of the Saudi Pro League transfer window, but a deal never materialized. United were prepared to let Sancho leave in the final days of the Saudi Pro League transfer window, but a deal never materialized. The club's online store also features four Sancho-related items in their clearance sale. Sancho is open to leaving United in January to resuscitate his career, and his representatives have sounded out former club Borussia Dortmund, as well as Nottingham Forest, managed by Sancho's old England under-17 coach Steve Cooper. Any United squad photos released in the last nine seasons have been digitally manipulated. The FA Cup's official Twitter account reacted with a sad emoji after United opted against its inclusion for their digital composite at the start of the 2016-17 campaign. Again and again. Manchester United set Greenwood price. Manchester United hoped to rake in £22 million for Mason Greenwood. The Express claims the striker will never play for the Red Devils again after a lone move to Getafe. But his parent club are still ready to cash in next summer and they hope Getafe agree to a pound 22 million deal to sign Greenwood permanently. Meanwhile, Johnny Evans could be in line for another Manchester United appearance this weekend. The veteran defender has passed a fitness test after appearing to take a knock while playing for Northern Ireland. Evans already seems to be ahead of Harry Maguire in Eric Ten Hag's pecking order, and he could get the nod when United visit Sheffield United on Saturday. Elsewhere, like father, like son. Cristiano Ronaldo Jr., son of CR7, vows to play with footy legend Dad as he completes transfer to new club. He has taken another step in his football career and a giant leap towards playing alongside his father. The 13-year-old has big shoes to fill if he wants to reach his dad's legendary level, but appears to be on the right track. According to Fabrizio Romano, Cristiano Jr. will follow in his dad's footsteps and wear the number seven for the academy side. His father signed for the Saudi Pro League outfit last January and has been on fire in the league ever since. And it's the hope of Cristiano Jr. that he will one day be able to play with his father at a professional level. The five-time Ballon d'Or winner revealed his eldest son's ambitions back in 2022. He said, My son tells me, Dad, hold on a few more years, I want to play with you. The former Real Madrid superstar is now 38 years old and will face a battle to stay fit if he's to grace the pitch with his mini-me but reports have suggested that he is keen to play in the 2026 World Cup and could still be at Al Nasser when it takes place. Cristiano Jr. has followed his dad wherever he has moved and as a result has been a part of a number of illustrious academies. He has played for the youth systems at Manchester United, Real Madrid and Juventus. Ronaldo isn't putting any pressure on his firstborn to succeed, though, and had said he will support him no matter what he chooses to do. Speaking last year, he explained, I will never pressure him. He will do what he wants. Also, what I want the most for Cristianito and everyone else is that they're happy and that they choose what they want. I will support in any way, again and again. Manchester United have been handed a big injury boost ahead of their trip to Sheffield United. Sergio Regulon was pictured training on Thursday, having missed the last four games. 
and Sofian Amrabat also took part after sitting out Morocco's recent matches. However, Casemiro is not expected to be fit after staying in Brazil to nurse a knock from the international break. Meanwhile, Anthony Marshall has months to show his worth or risk walking away from Manchester United. The Frenchman, who has a contract until the end of the season plus a one-year option, endured an injury-hit campaign last season. Marshall has slipped behind summer signing Rasmus Hoyland in the pecking order this season, scoring one goal in nine appearances. And according to recent reports, Eric Ten Hag and United are unsure whether to extend Marshall's contract. United are keeping their options open with the French striker, with much depending on how he performs between now and the end of the season. But his only goal this season was in the EFL Cup victory at home to Crystal Palace. As such, they could let the big money signing walk away from the club for free next summer. Italian transfer expert Fabrizio Romano has stated that in order for United to cash in, they must offload him in the January transfer window. Marshall was linked with a transfer exit away from Old Trafford in the summer, with West Ham and Fenerbahce interested. The Red Devils are reportedly mobilizing ahead of capturing another goal scorer in 2024. One of their top targets is Lois Openda, who has shown for RB Leipzig since arriving in Germany over the summer. But they'll have to battle off interest from both Chelsea and Liverpool in order to sign the pound 80 million rated frontman. Defenders Victor Lindelof and Aaron Juan Bissaka are also set to become free agents in the summer. But United are expected to trigger extensions for them until at least 2025. You can make subscribe to this YouTube channel again and again. Manchester United's squad was reunited at Carrington on Thursday following the international break. A number of our players were in action for their countries in the wake of the dramatic two. One win over Brentford in our last Premier League outing. Sergio Regulon and Sofian Amrabat were among those spotted in the group by our official photographers. Regulon has missed the last four matches with a minor injury, while Amrabat was absent from Morocco's games against Liberia and Ivory Coast. Their presence in training is a boost for Reds manager Eric Ten Hag ahead of the Premier League game against Sheffield United at Bramall Lane. The match kicks off at 20 o'clock British summertime on Saturday night and is being broadcast live on Sky Sports in the UK. Rasmus Hoyland was also in training, after the striker scored with a thunderous finish in Denmark's two, one win against San Marino on Tuesday. However, Casemiro was absent, having remained in Brazil on the club's advice, to recover as swiftly as possible from a small issue picked up while playing for his country. He will be unavailable for Saturday's game with the Blades, but is expected back at Carrington early next week to resume training, although he is suspended for the UEFA Champions League encounter with FC Copenhagen at Old Trafford after being sent off in the defeat to Galatasaray.